is with us. Dee's in Detroit, <laughs> Michigan. Hi, Dee. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Better than I deserve. How can we help? Okay. Um, I am retired. I'm a widow, and I'm debt-free. Um, and my problem is that my house needs some updates and repairs. I've been getting estimates. The estimates uh, seem like everything is uh, three, four, five times what I expected to pay. Um, and what I'm looking at is I'm looking at getting a line of credit to do the repairs and, and the labor, sa- labor saving updates because I'm 63 versus um, using my savings. But I, I wasn't going to go beyond what I have to, you know, that I, what I, if I was going to pay cash for. So I, I what I wanted I just wanted to get some advice from you. Um, do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. Uh, do you advise something else or, or what? But I, you know the house needs to be updated. How, how much in repairs is the total? Mm, oh, probably about fifty, sixty thousand dollars. And how much money do you have in your total world? Well, I got more than sixty thousand. How much money do you have in your total world? In my total world, I have 500000 Okay. D, you have done a really good job. Fix okay. your house with your money. Mm-hmm. Use money and fix your house. Don't use debt and fix your house. Not a line of credit? Nope. Why would I put you back in debt? You're my friend. Well, because I'd rather have my money working for me. It's not working for you. You're paying the bank. You're paying the bank. Well, okay, we'll see. There's another caveat. Uh, problem is um, I always have to pay taxes every year. And if I took a line of credit, let, let me, I, was, I was thinking that that would help reduce. If you want to get... do that, you, all you have to do is give more to your church. Pardon me? You give more to your church, you'll have the exact same mathematical effect. You don't have to go in debt. If you want to lower your tax bill, increase your charitable giving. Well, I've been doing that. Well, it's the same thing. Listen, if you give the bank $10,000, which you're not going to, if you give the bank $1,000 in interest, okay, mm-hmm. you know what it saves you in taxes? No. $200. Really? Yep. Mm-hmm. Tax deduction is not a tax credit. It's a deduction. And so it reduces your income that is taxable by $1,000 as applied to your tax rate and in your situation, the way you're the way you're structured, and the way your life's set up, you probably have an effective tax rate of around twenty percent. Maybe it's thirty percent, but it saves you two to three hundred dollars. The other seven hundred dollars is just burned. You didn't make a thousand by giving them a thousand. So you gave them a thousand to set to not give the government two hundred. I don't want you doing that. If you want to do that, give your church an extra thousand. That way, you don't have to give the government two hundred. Mm. And you don't even have to be in debt to do that one. Okay. Um, but, is there a way that I, if somebody told me that if I inc- if I incorporate, hey D, you're listening I, to a lot of stupid people. Act, <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Your friends, I don't know D. who's in your ear, but they're dumber than a rock. I don't know who this is. You don't need to incorporate. You're a 64 year old widow trying to fix her house. You got five hundred thousand. You have five hundred thousand dollars. Fix your freaking house. Just fix it. With and this. then I don't have any nightmares. And if you want to turn a thousand dollars into a two hundred dollar tax deduction, just increase your charitable giving by that. You don't have to be in debt for that. It's the exact same ratio. Here's a promise I'll make you, D. If you mail a thousand dollars to Ramsey Solutions here in Nashville, I will mail you two hundred dollars. <laughs> that's a that's a personal promise. <laughs> If That's you want to make that trade, it's... John Deloney has a system to I, do it. I, I will. In fact, this isn't just for you, D. This is for anyone in America. A thousand dollars to the Ramsey Solutions Building, and I'll, you're going to get me arrested, Deloney. I will Deloney. personally mail you two hundred dollars cash. Ramsey sets up pyramid scheme. John Deloney at the tip. I'm I'm happy to. All day. This crap is going to get. This is not going to go well. Some liberal left wing newspaper is going to think you're serious because <laughs> they can't do math either. <laughs> oh, God. Do you one life? Don't pay a bank three it, or four or five percent. God, no. And call yourself sophisticated. No. no don't. You're not sophisticated. That's just stupid. In fact, don't call, the, borrow money. call the contractor in and say, I have $40,000 in cash. Yeah. 
and yeah. this sixty thousand dollars is it's not an it's it, yeah real money i got 40 grand i'm gonna hand it to you in, in cash i want this work done in my after house after it's done after of course <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna yeah. line up in front of your house yeah yeah well not these days but yeah it's there's a lot of people <laughs> that's true <laughs> but it's a labor shortage because of the government but anyway now that it's um d don't go in debt honey please don't go in debt you have the money you've earned it you win at life you did a good job pay cash for your home repairs the other interesting thing is, in addition to all of this uh, stuff, is that when you spend the $40,000 in cash or $50,000, 2 things will occur. One, John is correct. You'll get better deals. Uh, and the reason is, number two, you're more careful. It is interesting to me that when all of us, when we spend $100 bills out of our checking account, we are more careful with those than we are with borrowed money. Hmm. So I had a, I had a buddy... Uh, back when I was in college and he worked with some home builders and he said, I could always tell the millionaires versus the middle class people buying in this building in this neighborhood. He said it was the millionaires who came in with the newspaper flyer and they said, uh, uh-uh. I said, I wanted this sink cause it was on sale at this place at this time. And y'all put in that sink versus the middle class buyer that came in and said, we don't know. What do you think? And it was this attention to detail and this attention to yeah, the it's dollars real and cents because it's real money it's versus some money. big loan. That's right. It's That's not, right. And, and folks, never never do something for the tax deduction. You're trading a, you're trading a dollar for a quarter. Where does that come from? Uh, I hear that all the it time. It comes from the real estate business. Okay. We used to teach people, oh, it's smart to be in debt because you get a tax deduction. <laughs> I did that crap, actually, when I was 18 and stupid. I got my real estate license. You need the tax deduction. Get a bigger loan. Yeah. Trade a dollar for a quarter. Matter of fact, trade a hundred dollars for twenty-five. It's even a better deal. Uh, you don't want to go pay off your home. You'll lose the tax deduction. Uh, it's one of the things we address in FPU. Yes, absolutely.